or walk around a bike. Tire pressure still 27 up in the front. Minimal running. Uh, I got up to like 45.7 miles per hour today, so it's not affecting speed at all. Uh, like I was saying earlier, if you're going that fast, it's going to warp the tire out. I'm pretty sure. Like out a little bit, so it doesn't even touch at all. I can't hear anything. Um, did run for a good get three to four miles it's just full throttle it does drain the battery quick got down to maybe around 45 in the end 47 for something for a total of 10 miles motor was barely hot actually it was barely warm not hot at all motor was barely warm um, some rattling underneath the seat you probably get that from your bike but it's probably a loose plug or component underneath here is the ESC. And let me show you that wire one more time on the motor end. Right there, you can see the rotor. It's probably a good maybe 10 millimeters now, right? a little bit more than that away from the wire, so won't have any issues. Rear suspension is pretty stiff for my weight, 155. Uh, front suspension is has a lot of travel. As you can see how much it travels right here. What is that? Maybe three and a half, three inches. Uh, I do have it set to soft, which is this dial all the way left with about one or two clicks to the right. Wait, 2000 watt motor. That was my old scooter, so this is a 2000 watt motor, peak 2600 watt. I have to use windy right now.
38% battery. I killed it. Oh my god. Alright. Good run though. That's pretty good. Get back to the point. What was our distance? seven miles just about 10 miles total did a round trip 44.1 miles per hour to speed on this module had my phone running the whole time 44.7 that's on a windy day pedal assist five let's shut this down right, let's check some motor temps and there's a brake track barely one hold my hand on there no problem so motor does not get hot.